Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is best time to buy and sell stock to. Please take a look at the previous question. I'll leave a link to that video in the description box below. So similar to that question, inside this question, we're given an integer array prices where prices of i is going to be the price of a given stock on the ith day. In this question, on each day, you may decide to either buy or sell the stock. You can only hold at most one share of the stock at any time. And however, you can buy it and then immediately sell it on the same day. And our task is to return the maximum profit doing this. So let's take a look at this example and see how this question can be solved. I've taken the same example given to us. This is the prices array. And now we have to find the maximum possible. And now we have to find out the maximum possible profit. So these are the stock prices on the given days. So all the array values denote the price of a stock on a particular day. So for example, let us say this prices array is for the stock Apple. And it is mentioned that we are given only one Apple stock. And this is the price of the Apple stock on that particular day. Since we have to buy the stock first prior to selling, so there is no point of starting your iteration at the first index positions because you won't be able to register a profit. So we start our iteration from the second element. So I, I will be pointing at the second element. And now we compare the current price of i with its previous value. And now we have to check for this condition. But here in this case, 1 is less than 7. So this condition will fail. So we, so we simply ignore that and go on for the next iteration. Now i is pointing here. It will check with this previous element i is greater than 1 so if this condition passes then calculate difference and add it to the profit so max profit will be initially 0 since phi is greater than 1 the difference is 4 now we add it to the profit 0 plus 4 so profit is now 4 now go for the next iteration now i is pointing at 3 check if 3 is greater than phi no it's not so go for the next iteration now i is pointing at 6, check if 6 is greater than 3, yes 6 is greater than 3. So we calculate the difference, difference is 3 and add it to the current profit. So 4 plus 3 is equal to 7, go for the next iteration. And now i is pointing at 4, check if 4 is greater than 6, no. So we ignore and go for the next iteration. And in the next iteration we reach the end of the array and now whatever is present inside the max profit variable which is 7, so 7 will be returned as the output. So now let's implement these steps in a Java program. Coming to the function given to us, this is the function name and this is the input array prices given to us and the return type is an integer, so we have to return an integer denoting the maximum profit. So we start off by creating the maximum profit variable and initialize it to 0 because the current profit is 0. And then we start our iteration from i is equal to 1 with the second element inside the array and we iterate until the end of the array. We are initializing i is equal to 1 because we have to compare it with the previous element. So if we start with i is equal to 0 and when you do i minus 1, 0 minus 1 will give minus 1 and prices of minus 1 will go out of bounds. So it will give you array out of bounds exception. So you start off with i is equal to 1. So you start off with this element and then you compare it with the previous element. And during this comparison we are going to check if prices of i is greater than prices of i minus 1. So if the price of the current element is greater than the previous element's value, then we have to calculate the current profit. So current profit is going to be current element minus previous element. So here in this case, phi, which is the current element, is greater than its previous element. So the current profit is going to be phi minus 1, which is equal to 4. And after calculating the current profit, you have to add current profit to max profit. So that is the catch here. You don't have to update the max profit. You can directly add the current profit to max profit, which will give you the similar answer. So the perfect example, this is the input array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we get our max profit as 4 because you buy it on the first day and sell it on the last day. And the difference is 4. So you get max profit as 4. So instead of that, according to our logic, we start off with 2 minus 1, 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. 4 minus 3 is 1. And 5 minus 4 is 1 and you add all the four ones, it will give you four, which is similar to buying on the first day and selling on the last day, which is also giving you four. And finally, outside the for loop, once you reach the end of the array, you return the max profit variable as the output. Now let's try to run the code. The test cases are running. Let's submit the code. And our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n, where n is the length of the prices array. And the space complexity is O of 1, constant space, because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. Now let's debug the code using this example. 
I've taken the same function as in lead code and I'm taking the prices array as the example too. And I placed two breakpoints inside the code. Now let's debug it. So this is the prices array. I will start from one. Now we are going to check if prices of i, which is at two, is greater than prices of i minus one, which is at one. Yes, two is greater than one. So it will enter the if statement. And now we are calculating the current profit. Two minus one is one. So current profit is equal to one. So current profit is one. And now max profit is initially zero. We add current profit inside max profit. So max profit will become one. Now i is equal to two. Three is greater than two. So it will enter. Three minus two is one. Current profit is one. Max profit is one. And current profit is one. Add current profit inside max profit. Max profit will become two. Now four is greater than three. So it will enter. Four minus three is one. Current profit is one. Max profit is two. Add current profit to max profit. Max profit will become three. So here you can see max profit is three. And now again five is greater than four. So it will enter. Five minus four is one. Three because three plus one is four. And now we reach the end of the array. So we come out of the for loop. And whatever is present inside max profit, we return it as the output. So we're calling it inside the main method. And profit is four now. So four is returned as the output. Here you can see max profit is 4 and which is the expected output here. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.